I'm gonna tell you guys 10 PlayStation Vita games that are near identical to the home console versions. Now, if you're looking to bring the true console experience with you in the go, then these are the games to do it. But before we start the countdown, let me just wish a happy 8th anniversary to the PlayStation Vita. This one's for you. Number 10, Mortal Kombat. Right off the bat, you'll notice the graphics don't look quite as good as it does when you saw it on the big screen. But there is a trade-off, and in my opinion, well worth it. The game runs at a blistering 60 frames per second, perfectly on par with the console version. Thanks to the D-pad on the PS Vita, combos you've learned while playing on the portable handheld are easily executed when moving back over to the console. As I mentioned earlier, the only downside are the graphics, but in all honesty, you don't really notice after playing for a few hours. I actually started to think they looked pretty good at that point. Everything else is brought over from the consoles. All the game modes, in addition to the new mode called Test Your Slice, where you swipe the front touch. Sort of like Fruit Ninja. Mortal Kombat 11 on Switch might be more relevant, but I'll take Mortal Kombat on the PS Vita over that any day of the week. Number 9. Need for Speed Most Wanted This, this right here, is the best racing game on the PlayStation Vita. I guess it's not hard to have that title when there's hardly any competition. It appears to be the entire home console version of Need for Speed Most Wanted ported down to the PlayStation Vita. Although I was told there is a small area in the game that's missing on the Vita. Can anyone in the comments verify this? If you're coming over from the console, you will notice a drop in detail, but what can you expect when the PS3 version was basically borderline next-gen for its time? Car damage might not look as spectacular, and the frame rate can get a little sluggish, but taken as a whole, races can still get pretty intense. And as an extra added bonus, the online multiplayer is still active. I know, crazy, right? If you're a fan of Most Wanted on the consoles or just like racing games in general, then do yourself a favor and pick up this game. It's open world racing in the palm of your hand. Number 8. Dead or Alive 5 Plus This is one of those games that makes you proud to be a PlayStation Vita owner. It includes everything you loved about the console version. Arcade, Survival, Time Attack, and other various modes all made it over to the PS Vita. There's also the added bonus of cross-save, allowing you to bring over those precious DLC costumes that you wasted all your money on. Not only that, but there's also the cross-play feature, which lets you play against others who might only have the PlayStation 3 version. Some characters might look a little more rough around the edges, but for the most part, this port comes really close to matching the console version. Trust me on that. There were times when I couldn't even tell the difference. Dead or Alive 5 Plus also adds a Vita exclusive feature. The Plus, referring to an added touch mode where you flick, tap, and pinch the screen in order to attack your opponent. It makes for a good distraction, but not really fun for more than a round or two. Luckily, everything else about the game makes it worth owning. Number 7. Metal Gear Solid HD Collection Alright, so it's not in full HD, but it still looks pretty damn good, especially when you're looking at it on the Vita's OLED screen. Not quite on par with the console remasters, but definitely sharper than the PS2 originals. Upon first booting up the collection on the PS Vita, I'm just amazed at how well these games translate over to Sony's portable handheld. I mean, I hate to sound like a broken record, but these games look awesome on the small screen. The only downside is that it doesn't include Peace Walker in the collection, unlike it does on the consoles. When I think about it, the Vita might have the only portable version of Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. Can anyone confirm that? I know Snake Eater was released on the Nintendo 3DS, but I think we all know how that turned out. I'm just kidding. It wasn't that bad. Probably two of the greatest games ever made, and here you can play it on the go, anywhere you want, in bed, on the bus, or even on the toilet. Number 6. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 So, as I'm capturing footage for this video, I can't help but notice how awesome this game is. Let's just forget the fact that we're doing a comparison for a second and just look at the game as a whole. Capcom did an incredible job of bringing these two universes to life. My only regret is that I wish I had put more time into it back during its release. This is definitely a game I wouldn't mind being halfway decent at. I did entertain the thought of actually sitting down and learning the mechanics when I realized the PS Vita port was basically a portable version of the console game. If you're familiar with that version, you'll notice that very few compromises have been made on the PlayStation Vita. With the control setup that translates perfectly over to the PS Vita, there's very little to distinguish this port from the original. Minor loss of detail in the special moves and background animation doesn't detract from the overall presentation either. Running at a rock solid at 60 frames per second, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 on the PlayStation Vita looks simply stunning. Number 5. Ninja Gaiden Sigma Plus I cannot stress how amazing this game is on the PlayStation Vita. Team Ninja did an incredible job of bringing Ninja Gaiden Sigma over from the PlayStation 3. Too bad the second game didn't get the same treatment, but that's a whole other video. New features include touch and motion control integration as well as an expanded mission mode called Ninja Trials. The only downside is that it now runs at 30 frames per second instead of the 60 on PS3. Also, some of the full motion cutscenes do however look a little grainy. It's not a big deal, and on a smaller screen, you're not even gonna care or notice. There is some occasional loading as you move 
into larger areas, but it's no different from what you got when playing on the home console version. The game looks amazing. Colorful scenery and razor sharp animation. It basically comes down to this. If you're familiar with Ninja Gaiden Sigma on the PlayStation 3, then you'll realize this is almost an exact copy. Slightly reduced particle effects can't hide the fact that this is one of the best action games on the PlayStation Vita. Number 4. Rayman Origins What can I say? I really like this game. The platforming is fun, the graphics are gorgeous, and the soundtrack is phenomenal. There's virtually no difference between the two versions. The only thing I did notice was how the frame rate would drop ever so slightly during the loading screen. Outside of that, the rest of the game ran super smooth. Other than that, I can't really tell a difference when playing on the Vita. This is an exact like-for-like like of the console version. Levels are short and to the point. You get in, and you get out. If you're looking for bite-sized gaming on the go, then Rayman Origins on the PlayStation Vita fits the bill perfectly. Number 3. Final Fantasy X HD Remaster Because of the Vita's OLED display, I actually think this game looks better on the smaller screen. Side-by-side -side comparisons really don't do the Vita justice at all, but believe me, the difference is there. Detail is sharper on the PlayStation 3, but I think that's only because of the higher resolution and the fact that you're playing on a bigger screen. And although colors do have a more realistic look on the PS3, it lacks the punch and vibrancy provided by the OLED screen. In my honest opinion, it looks kind of dull in comparison, but hey, I'm a Vita guy, so what do you expect? Regardless, they're both great ways to experience this unforgettable journey. And thanks to the cross-play feature, switching between the two platforms is quick and painless. I guess it just depends on where you prefer to sit while playing this game, on the couch or on the toilet. The choice is up to you. Number 2. Sly Cooper Thieves in Time I'm surprised people don't talk about this game more often. It's really good. Like, hidden gem good. Being that it's number 2 on the list, it's safe to say that Sly Cooper Thieves in Time on the PlayStation Vita is practically the PlayStation 3 version, but played on handheld. The differences are so minute, you'd wonder if there was witchcraft involved in getting the PS Vita port to look and play so faithful to his console counterpart. There are absolutely no complaints here. Well, fine, there is one minor complaint. The loading is a tad long between stages, but other than that, the game plays like a dream. If you're looking for a spellbinding adventure, then definitely check out Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Number 1. Muramasa Rebirth This is another instance where I would prefer playing the portable version of a game over the console one. First released on Nintendo Wii, the PlayStation Vita gets an enhanced port several years later. According to developers, the reason why Muramasa was ported over to the PS Vita was because of the OLED screen, which they felt would better portray the game's color palette. One look at the game running on the Vita, and you can't help but agree with their decision. The game looks absolutely beautiful. You won't be able to tell the difference in the video, but trust me, the Wii version doesn't stand a chance against Sony's portable handheld. Don't get me wrong, the game still looks nice on the Wii, but that OLED screen just takes it to another level. Aside from a few additional DLC story missions, the game is essentially the same across both platforms. For fans of 2D action side-scrolling gameplay with some RPG elements, Muramasa Rebirth on the PlayStation Vita is the game for you. Now, if any of these games interest you, then check out my other list of top 10 games that any proud Vita owner should have. Also, if you're still on the fence about picking up a Vita, then check out the video to the right.